Welcome to Scorched Earth. This is going to be a general reading of the sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon and Ascendant. If you don't know what your Moon or Ascendant signs are, have a look in the description box below. There's a link down there that will help you. And then you should come back and watch the videos for your Moon and Ascendant signs because you might feel that they uh, resonate with you more strongly than your Sun sign does. Or it might just give you a better picture overall of what's going on with you than you'll get from just your Sun sign. Um, my books are now open again for personal readings, um, but the slots have filled up pretty fast. So um, more sessions will be released on a weekly basis going forward so um, if you don't mind manage to find a slot now then you know, try again in a few days because it will have opened up thank you to all those people who have already booked personal readings um, and who bore with me while I uh, sorted out the teething problems that I have in the first 12 hours of it being open it's gratefully um, no, I am that is very grateful to you for that so yeah um, and just general thanks and gratitude for your support in whatever way that occurs, whether it's liking the video or subscri subscribing, sharing them, donations, messages, comments, all that kind of thing. I am endlessly grateful to all of you for uh, for all the support that you've shown. So I think I've shuffled these enough. Well, let's get on with this. I hope you will. Other than that, could I have three cards for Capricorn, please, for May? There's the first one, pinged out, Nine of Earth, I like that very much. Huge lorry, my very quiet village. Two more cards for Capricorn, please. Oh, it's too many, like there's like 50 cards here. Spin those back around. Two more cards for Capricorn, please. In your present energy, the four of Earth. And what's coming towards Capricorn, please? Oh, damn good things. I've got two cards. Queen of Skies and the Empress. All right. At the bottom of the deck, we've got the Fool. And that's really interesting because I had a funny feeling just before I started the, the, uh, the video that... The fool would show its face. Directly underneath that, we've got the Nine of Skies, which is um, anxiety and concern, shall we say. And I feel it's to do with your new start, right? You've got some some anxiety about it, maybe you're overthinking it a little bit. You're certainly worried about it in some respect anyway. Let's get some clarifiers and then we'll get on with this. We'll get into it. One more shuffle because it just feels so good. Yeah. So, <clears throat> why is the nine of earth here for Capricorn, please? Mm. Got five of swords. Why is the nine of earth here, please? Mm. That's interesting. We've got two cards that have pinged out here. We've got the Eight of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. And the Ace of Cups. Ooh, Ace of Cups. Nice. got the Seven of Swords and the Nine of Cups. Got a lot more cards coming out for you than uh, I'm actually trying to get, but no, I won't take them. It's fine. There's the Queen of Skies here and the Empress. Mmm! Six of Wands. Love it. There's the Queen of Skies here and the Empress. Page of Pentacles. Right, it's fairly clear where this is all going or what this is about at least. On the bottom of this deck we've got the Page of Swords. Right? I'll come back to that later. <coughs> so the first card you've got is the Nine of Earth. Right? This is in your recent past, touching on oh, the present. And I'm really pleased to see this here for you Capricorn, because 
it's actually been coming up for quite a few of the signs. I'm sure um, sure Leo had it yesterday. Was it Leo? I can't remember. Anyway, it's your suit because it's Earth. And so it talks about resources of some description, right? And, and they can take any, any form you like. It can be money, but it can be any kind of energetic currency. So we can talk about effort. We're talking about emotional resources sometimes. I have to take it as it applies to you. But because it's a nine, right? This talks about self-sufficiency. It talks about independence. It talks about being able to take care of your own needs. Because for me, the nines talk about solitary endeavor, right? In whatever that way applies. Now, say with the nine of cups, there's, uh, which actually is coming out for you here, so I won't go into it too much. There's a sense of being able to, you know, identify exactly what it is that you want and what makes you happy, and then, you know, bring that into existence for yourself. The same goes for the nine of uh, pentacles here, the nine of earth. I mean, it's about identifying those things that you need around you in, in the material world and working out exactly how it is that you get them how you bring them to you, you know, personally. And like I said, it's very independent. But there's a sense here with the fool being the, the, the shadow card, which underlines the entire reading, right? It kind of gives the theme for the reading. And it's another nine underneath there as well. That There's a sense of you getting very, very sharp about what it is that you want. And it's quite possible that, you know, the, the, the lockdown and it's having this effect on a lot of people is causing people to kind of re-examine their priorities, work out what they really, really want from their life and then move forwards. Now, you seem to have done this already because this is in your recent past. And what's underneath here for you, five of swords, eight of cups and the ten of pentacles. Now, I think this is possibly work related for you but take it as it resonates because it could it could be other areas right it seems like there's something about your work situation as it has stood that you find deeply unfulfilling right and it's something to do with the communication that goes on right there the fives are unstable energy right it's it's things breaking down sometimes it's things blowing up actually but it's a shift of some description it's an energy shift and you can see this as a as a I was going to say a stopping in communication, but it's not that, it's a breakdown. So whether that is potentially you not speaking to people or them not speaking to you in in a way that, you know, brings brings emotional fulfillment to you or cerebral intellectual fulfillment to you, that's possible. But it seems like it's just a breakdown in communication, right? You can't talk to people the way that, that you would like to, and they can't talk to you the way that they like to, because something has changed, something has shifted. And ultimately, what it's done is it's led you to realise that the, what you're doing isn't actually fulfilling in any way, whether that is intellectually or emotionally or in any sense, and you're moving away from it, right? This is where your new start is. You've made the decision to go off and do something new, and now you're undertaking it. Right? But what we notice here in the Eight of Cups that this figure is walking away under the light of the eclipse there. Right? It's leaving all of these cups behind and is going off to find something new. And it is a very deliberate moving away because he's got his cloak on and his walking boots and his stick, right? He's, he's prepared for the long haul. You know, he's leaving behind this. And this, this could be, you know, snipey office politics and all that kind of thing as well. That's entirely possible. It doesn't do it for you anymore. What you're walking towards is your Ten of Pentacles. Now, the Ten of Pentacles is the inheritance card, yes, but like not everybody's going to get an inheritance all the time, right? This, this, for me, it talks more of, you know, but well, this is the pinnacle of the, the Pentacle suit, right? This is what Capricorn's have got in mind all the time with their five-year plan, you know. I, I mock it, but it's a really good idea and I don't have one and I probably should, especially since I'm a Capricorn Ascendant. But this is material fulfillment, right? You know you can do better. You know exactly what it is that you want and you're headed towards it now, right? So it could be a new job, it could be a new house, potentially, you know, 
it could be starting up a business although I would expect to see the ace of pentacles with that right? this is something that that just works better and there's kind of a, a, a work-life balance implied with this as well because we've got all these pentacles all over it and obviously you know those are good and those are useful but there is a family depicted on there as well right so it's, it's something that you are committed to but it's something that takes better account of what you want from your life overall than what you have been experiencing hitherto it's really really good I like that but then in your current energy we've got the four of earth <clears throat> it's the four of pentacles and this talks about either holding on to something too tight and a need to release or potentially some work that you're doing to to create a foundation for yourself right? which is not often a way that I see this card, but I see you moving away from things that, that displease you and being very focused, very goal-oriented about what it is that you're going towards. And it's almost like tying up loose ends is what I've just heard. Right. And then we've got these two cards here, right? the Ace of Cups. And the Seven of Swords. And for me, the Seven of Swords is about taking a risk, right? Sometimes it's vaguely deceptive, right? Because we've got this kind of slightly pantomime looking chap kind of hoiking off with these swords. And some readers call it the thief card, but I find like it's difficult to, to input or impute, in fact, any kind of motivation from what you see there, right? It's just a snapshot of what's going on. Probably something slightly under the radar going on, but that's why it speaks to me more of risk than anything else. And it's come up with this, which is an opportunity, a new opportunity for emotional fulfillment, right? And look how we were moving away from this, these eight cups here towards this one here, right? When you put an eight and a one together, you get a nine and that is wish fulfillment. But I'd like to pull another card because what I'm not sure of is whether you are not, as yet, in your current energy, releasing something that you should, or whether it is, like I said, a building of foundations for something new. Because you're already quite a long way along the, the road as it is. Tell me about, oh, hello. Tell me about this. Okay, Get one more because you've just popped up very strongly there. Yeah. Yeah, it's four of earth, four of cups. All right, at the bottom of this deck now we've got the star, and that talks about vision. So I think that this is a sense of you building a new foundation, right? Work-life balance, knowing exactly what you want and how to get around it, but. It, it is by necessity needing to leave some things behind, right? You have to clear out the old to let the new in. And there's the, there's a certain sense of a fear of a missed opportunity here somewhere, which is odd because I feel like the opportunity is here and it has presented itself to you and you're making all of these preparations for it. But then I'm coming back to this nine of swords here. And like this something is causing you a bit of concern of low level anxiety about this and what I've got here is the seven of wands the devil which is you and the four of cups and intimidation you're intimidated by what it is that you've taken on or the thought of what it is that you're taking on and what you are now moving into because there is a new start here right and whether that's a new job or a promotion or something like there's a sense of you moving slightly outside of your comfort zone and that's good because that's where growth occurs but you're feeling a little bit like you're facing goliath at the moment right and this is good for you this is good for you but there's some fear there, definitely. And then we've got this 
this four of cups it's another four it's another foundational energy and usually that does speak of missed opportunities but there's a ah I think perhaps you're trying not to catastrophize but kind of failing a little bit in that right four of cups talks about missed opportunities it talks about um rejection of offers and stuff like that sometimes right but this woman sat here and she's she's kind of she sat at the edge of a wood and she looks like she's actually quite she's allowing herself a small moment of absolute delight that something has occurred right something that's important to her i think that you've got exactly you're about to get or you know you're on that path to get something that is exactly what you wanted and what's happening is that you're trying to remain positive about it there's a slight risk element to it but actually you're slightly intimidated by it you're not quite sure that you're good enough to do what it is although you think that you are good enough to do it there's a little anxious voice at the back of your mind that is trying really hard to catastrophize and the rest of your brain is trying to bat it down <clears throat> which is what we see here. Now for all Capricorns give off a very efficient and capable air, you are really bad for catastrophizing. You do do it. And unfortunately that often kind of finds its outlet in the way that you deal with other people. So just be aware of that Capricorn, that's the thing, like if you find you are snapping at people, if you are finding that you are getting irritated by things that are do, p other people are doing around you, that's maybe a little bit unreasonable, it's because of the pressure at the back of your head with this little voice that's nittering, right? I'm just going to say that. So, what's coming towards you? is the Queen of Skies and the Empress. Now, I'll, I'll do the signs, but I don't really think it's important. We've got, you know, strictly Libra here, and then we've got Taurus or Libra here, right? But I don't think these are people. I think that this is you, and I think this is what's coming towards you. So, and I'm actually really delighted to see the Queen of Swords here because this is you being rational. This is you putting aside these feelings of imposter syndrome that you have at the moment and looking at it logically you know if this is you getting a new position or a promotion or something like that like you got there on your own merit and you know that intellectually but somewhere deep inside that bit of you that is squeaking that is feeling like an imposter that is currently sat in your energy here making you feel a little bit uncomfortable and a little bit on edge right? you're going to get on top of that right because this queen right, she doesn't fuck about she knows what she's doing and she puts emotion and fear and all that kind of thing to the side to be very objective about things and this is what's required of you here but it's what also what you're going to be able to achieve right? and then we've got the empress and the empress is kind of like it's kind of also like a new start because it's about the creation of new things it's about bringing new things into the world and there's a certain vision that you've had for your life which you are now actually in the process of bringing bringing into the world right however that applies to you and what you're experiencing now i guess could best be described as birthing pains actually mm -hmm you just got to kind of work through it a little bit because you know once you start once you start doing whatever it is that you do you're gonna fly there's no doubt about it look at this queen of swords she's literally like flying around in the sky it's not often that you see a a court card actually like rolling around in its element you've got it here and man she looks fierce check that out but then we've got this you know, hugely creative force unleashed by you, right? The clarifying cards that you've got are the Nine of Cups, the Six of Wands, and the Page of Pentacles, like Capricorn. <clears throat> you are fretting needlessly. Like, this, we've already seen here 
right? That you have actively moved away from something that you knew wasn't right for you anymore, right? That you weren't getting out of what you wanted and you're moving towards this new thing, right? These two together make the nine of cups. But at this point, separated, right? There's been an act of moving away and a new thing coming in. And here it is, right? All in one package. This is everything that you hope it's going to be. This is everything that you're going to wish that it was. But more than that, it's what your fine brain has worked out, you know, worked out prior to now. Your plans come together. That's actually what it is, right? The, the, the moving away, the embracing of something new, it equals exactly what you hope it will do. It equals exactly what you, you, you know, oh God, I've lost the word that I was looking for, that you foresaw, right, coming. It's all there. It's all in one package, right? And more than that, you're going to be very fucking good at it. Now, oh shit, now I'm talking, I feel like, at some point in the last couple of months, we've had almost this same discussion, right? You're going to be magnificent at it. You know you're going to be magnificent at it. Squash that voice down. Right? Or even better, actually, Capricorn, while I've got you here, why don't you explore the root of why you have that feeling in the first place, right? Because Capricorns, by, you know, by birth, are efficient and capable they actually usually achieve anything that they put their mind to. So why is there this doubt? Why is there this imposter syndrome bubbling around inside? You know? Arguably, you can look back at your track record and see exactly what you've achieved, exactly what you set out to achieve that you have done and project that forward with an expectation that whatever it is that you put your mind to in the future will go exactly the same way as everything else has gone before. So. I'm going to do an extended on this, and if you want to join me over there, we're going to have a little dig around and see where you're, no, right, where the root of this is for you. But it's going to be magnificent, right? You're going to be perfect at it. But there are going to be new things that you need to learn. Now, like Capricorn's not afraid of that, right? Capricorn actually relishes that. But there's a sense of starting a bit lower down than you're comfortable with. Maybe not necessarily in terms of position but in terms of level of knowledge right and that's just teething problems again like that's it's just getting to know what it is that you're going to do and once you've got a handle on it then you'll fly because that's what you do let's have a look at this page of pentacles tell me about page of pentacles please page of pentacles. we've got the king of cups and the nine of pentacles hmm and the Empress again amazing this is such opposite energy to this I can't even tell you right the difference between these right so this is a breakdown in communica communication. This is things, you know, not being intellectually fulfilling in any way and having to turn around and go, fuck this and walk away, right? Because there's no emotional fulfillment, because there's no cerebral fulfillment, you know, your active mind is, is just kind of toiling for the sake of it in this one. Here, we have got an emotionally fulfilling situation, right? It's going to be... It's going to take care of, of the, the work-life balance, the, the things that you've had an issue with, right? That's that's all sorted there. But it is also Nine of Pentacles, exactly what you set out to do right here at the beginning, right? Right. This was your plan right here. This is the execution of the, your plan, the reality of your plan, and it's fantastic. And it's bringing about something new, right? That's the Empress twice. Whatever it is that you're about to bring into the world, and this may have absolutely nothing to do with your job and more to do with the, the vibration that you now kick out as a result of getting what this is, right? There's, there's a visceral improvement in your circumstances that improves your 
overall level of happiness, right? Well, right, they're, they're, they're at the opposite ends of the spectrum right here. There is no emotional fulfillment whatsoever, right? Because he's, he's found it relatively easy to turn his back on it and walk away, even though these cups have all taken quite a long time to amass because cups do. You have to put in time and effort and energy into them, right? He did all that, amassed all of those, and then went, oh, God, this is bollocks, and walked away, right? This is shooting straight up to the very top, the very pinnacle of the cup suit emotionally fulfilling emotional balance you know maybe what you've been doing was really f just hard work like and you're not afraid of hard work but hard work with nothing else you know maybe decent financial recompense but as we get older and we get a bit more discerning we want a bit more from our lives than the recognition that we get of being good at our jobs and i feel like that's what you're going after here capricorn <clears throat> And it is everything that you set out in your plan, which is fantastic. And it's bringing in a new era for you, right? A very productive, very abundant, very fertile era for you in all senses, not just in the financial sense, but also in the emotional sense, also in this, you know, this balance. Right. I'm going to leave it there because there's only so many times that I can say work-life balance uh, before it becomes repetitive and dull. But I am going to do an extended. So if you're interested in that, it's kind of airing towards shadow work a little bit. We'll sort of have a plumb around in your psyche and see what's going on in there. See if we can't pull it out a little bit. Because the thing with old triggers and wounds and things like that, right, the things that cause this little voice that tries to kind of pull you back from, from new things that you're starting that feel a little bit risky. Or, you know, when you go and do those new things, but, but you, you kind of overthink it and you start sabotaging it and stuff like that. When you pull them out into the light, you see them for what they are. They kind of cease to have the effect that they had before. So if you're interested in that, that's down there. If not, um, take care and I will see you in a couple of weeks for the mid-months.